All right. I want the chat's participation in this one too, please. <laughs> so, all right. In case you were listening to us as opposed to watching, this is a Petco order. It is 27 orders. So 27 stops, mm. 175 miles for $175 and 50 cents. Mm. So for a lot of people, that might be the only order they have to take that day. So are you guys taking this? Kim, you go first. I want to get Kim's perspective before I say something. So this is how I dissected it when I looked at it. I think anybody who looks at this and goes, oh, it's $175. Wow. And then I looked at the miles and I'm like, oh, heck no, that's just way too crazy for me. But this is what sealed the deal for me. And I would never take this order is, as you see on the top hand corner, this person received this at 2.59 p.m. Oh, DoorDash yeah. says that it's supposed to be delivered by 2.46 a.m. <laughs> So they're saying, according to DoorDash, that this is going to take 12 hours to complete. <laughs> huh. Well, first off, is Petco open at 246 delivered by? Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah. So they're saying it's giving you 12 hours, which I don't know that market, but that can't be accurate, right? What do you think, Zach? Like, that's crazy. I, you know, that's pretty spread out, right? I, that could actually be. When you when you factor in the routing, that actually could be a couple hundred miles. So, I mean, that's what a three and a half four hour drive right there. Assuming you don't make any stops. So, but you know, if you're I, making... what, hap what happens though if it's one hundred and seventy five dollars and the last house brings you one hundred and seventy five miles away from where you live, and then you have to travel one hundred and seventy five miles back to your house? Mm, yeah. I, I think, okay, this is what I'm going to say. And you guys beat me up in the chat. It's all good. <laughs> I think I wouldn't say this is a 100% no for me, right? So in looking at this map here with the house icons, right? So you see where the Petco is, right? And a lot of people that do gig work, maybe they live where the furthest house on the left is. And then they have to drive, you know, that's a lot of miles. But maybe they got to drive a little bit. Maybe it's 30 or 40 miles, right? To get into a zone. Um, so let's say I'm in where that Petco's at and I live next to one of these houses over here. Right. And I, and, and I can make it to where, like, I got to go back that way anyway. You know, if I can get this done in six or seven hours, it's not bad. Six hours, 175, depending on my vehicle and my mileage and, you know, but to fit all this stuff, you don't know what is it? 27 orders. Does that mean items? I guess it says items. Is it all 50 pound bags of dog food? I mean, that there's a lot of information we don't have here, but I can't say I would 100% say no. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. can't. So, uh, so Sergio says no. Sean says not a chance. Uh, DoorDash dummy uh, sort of looks like a flex run. Kevin Mangled. What's up, Kevin? Mm -hmm. uh, hell no. Uh, unless I have family in the area, no. Uh, what's up, Noah? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I mean, it seems I, like mostly knows. I, you know, I but I, I get what you're saying. If this were to come through my own first thing in the morning and gas were a little cheaper, mm -hmm. I might be tempted. Mm -hmm. That I mean, because that's that's one and done, you know, you and not to mention, actually, matter of fact, not that I not that I care about this personally, but that would also be great for the acceptance rate. It, it would so, because you. Yeah, it would. Would. it would. Yeah. It would. And let's say your goal oh. is to make one hundred and fifty bucks. But and then you're, if, you you start at 9 a.m. and it's like, okay, I'm done at 3 or 4 o'clock and I made 175. There might be some benefit to some, not most. But some. But, so, no, but go ahead. Sorry, Kim. Real quick. If you decline this and you do care about your acceptance rate, your acceptance rate just went down 27%. That's crazy. I, in, in my market, I used to get, we had a, um, so DoorDash partnered with like local like food banks and churches. I think they still do it. But for a while, about two years ago, maybe a year and a half, they really did it. There was a foundation called the Bailey Foundation. And every Thursday at about 10, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., I would get hit with these routes. It'd be like anywhere from like six to 20 stops. And sometimes the pay was really high and the mileage made sense. And sometimes it didn't. I did one or two of them in my life just to test it out. Mm -hmm. um you know there's never really any tips on there because they can't tip but it is what it is but like sometimes those made sense and sometimes they didn't but i i wonder if 
but I do remember it, you declining those and then like, yeah, your AR just goes down like 10 percentage points or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, it's, it's odd. Hey, thanks for checking out that clip from our show, Money Hungry, hosted by me and Kim Side Money Plans right here on the Rideshare Guy live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you enjoyed that video, check out the full episode by clicking here or you could check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the Rideshare Guy and turn on all notifications. We'll see you Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern for Money Hungry.